See a swamp on Google. Old logging road. Hey, she's looking pretty. <laughs> There's a, whoa! This is a, like a uh, friggin' uh, tree harvester trail. Got big ditches on each side. I don't know how well this is gonna go. <laughs> I'm already seeing swamp and ditches and. get out for a ride again anyways yesterday we did a nice long ride today we're gonna do a ride tomorrow adventure then it's supposed to start raining and get cooler well we'll see what happens could get interesting. Gotta take a walk and check this out here. I think I'll put her in four low just in case. Alright, I think we can squeeze between these trees. And then we gotta go along the Edge of the swamp. We got a beaver pond on the left. We got to uh, Swamp, you fall in there, you might never get out. We got stumps. Hopefully we don't have a big ditch. Whoa, we're right on the beaver pond, right on the dam here. The dam, dam. The road's getting pretty grown in. Should clear a bit up here, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Stay to the left. Maybe go get ready to catch them. <laughs> Oh, you'll get there. You'll get there. There we go. <laughs> it's not an adventure unless you're deep in the bush ready to flip over. 
All right, we've only just started. We just got across the Beaver Dam. <laughs> Mark was uh, having some tilting issues. I somehow I don't think this is going to clear out at all. It might. Looks like it's clearing it out a little bit here, just for a tiny bit. Got half the forest with me now. Oh yeah, doesn't look too bad. The old road's looking pretty good. You don't know unless you go. Uh, going up! up. I'm going to have to cut that one, I think. Or break it or something. Alright, had to clear that little tree out of the way. We're on our way again. Whipped in the face, I don't know how many times. Oh, big ditch. It's actually pretty clear right through here. I don't like it. My biggest worry was getting around that beaver dam, and that was just fairly easy. I figured this would be growing in more than this. Huh, not bad at all. To here anyways. <laughs> She grows in a little bit more. Still not too bad. I think you can see some chickens running around back in here. Maybe not enough gravel for them anymore. It's all buried. every other road that we explored was uh, as easy as this. Every time I try and go into a place it's just grown in. But I might have spoke too soon. We'll see. Hey, right, we're still motoring along here. It might, it might get worse. I don't know. It's actually showing the road ending right up here. So going to cut through here, cut some branches. All right, cleared her out a bit. We're on our way again. This is where it shows the road ending, so we'll see if it's a trail or still kind of a road. Gonna be growing in big time.
So we're gonna head out of here and uh, move to a new spot and go for a ride. So stick around. camera off until we're back at the beaver dam Almost out of here. Oh, in the ditch. So, like I said, we're gonna head to another area now and go do some riding, exploring. Maybe we'll find something. Who knows? All right, we're on another road. Checking out, looking for stuff. I don't know what. Let's see if we can get up through all the way up to another uh, area. Uh, check out a couple small roads along here too. Out for a ride now. Beautiful day again. Supposed to be 20 again today. suspect we'll find any see any animals or anything but got a little road here check this out it's a little windy today so they're probably all spooked this one's starting off a little grown in already not too bad though These are old logging roads from back anywhere, 80s and older than that, 1980s, 70s, 1990s. Ooh. These areas have been logged a few times already. Oh, I got a nice little pit area here. There we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jeff's a bad man. <laughs> It's went into a bunch of trees. Looks like this thing is usually full of water. Okay. <laughs> Enough playing. I always get to playing. Looks like there's a lake down here. Oh, 
looks like there's uh, ATV tracks coming down this way. Yeah, yeah, we're coming down to a big lake. I don't know if <laughs> this road shows going across a little point between uh, between two lakes and I don't know if that's going to happen. First we got a swamp here to cross, apparently. Not looking... No, the road's ending here. Kind of hoping to get to that little lake there. I'm sure there'll be more. Alright, that didn't last very long. You don't try, you don't know. So many leaves piled up in the radiator there that she's bound to overheat today. Just to get out and ride is nice. Especially before all the big game hunters come up start coming out. I think it opens this weekend coming up a couple days. We're gonna have a pile of people out here with big guns. Probably already got their moose camp set up. They're scouting areas. Moose better take cover. Well, like I said, we're going to try and head up across to hook up with another major road. If we can, I don't know. Lots of swamps around here, rivers, creeks. It'd be nice if we saw a bear today too. Oh, a little road down to the lake. Showing a boat launch up here. boat launch they just mean a little trail to the lake and you throw your boat in <laughs> I don't know where this little boat launch is supposed to be it's supposed to be like right here where you drag your boat through the bush I guess that's not much of a boat launch yeah there's no trail there <laughs> I'm assuming it was back at the other little road. All these roads start to look the same after a while. It's just when you get into the obstacles that uh, makes a difference. 
But then when you start uh, going through the video to make a video, all the raw video, you got so many obstacles and so many places you've been that you don't really remember where you were. If that makes any sense. GPS is showing us coming to a fork in the road up there. Gonna have to stop and see which way I've gotta go. I'm thinking I stay straight ahead. Somebody's made an arrow out of the tape. <laughs> Ingenious. Alright, we're sticking to the left. Look at the GPS, a little maze of roads. Look like they connect with a couple more roads. This would be a good chicken road. I haven't seen it yet though. Maybe, maybe the wind's bothering them too. They get a little spooked. The sun's out though. You think they'd be out? The leaves are falling out the trees. So you can see back in the moisture blaze now. Perfect time of year. It's too bad it's too short. Got a week of this and then all of a sudden it's winter. Like there's some truck tracks, fresher truck tracks on there maybe. Hard to tell. seem to be too many roads off of this road. The ones that show on GPS are totally grown in. GPS is showing a road just up here to the right. Yeah, it looks pretty small. Rocky. Nice little climb right off the bat. Uh, it doesn't show a very long, very long road, so I don't know what the deal is here. It's open though, which is odd.
short road. Maybe it's longer than the GPS is showing. Where would it go though? We're all highland here. I don't see any lakes or rivers or anything like that. baiting station, that's what it is. There. Oh yeah. You see the tree stand right in front of us there? You got a tree stand and then you got barrels. Barrels, we got cage. I don't know what the cage is for. Like Jeff said, do they keep a live animal in there to bait for the bears? <laughs> yeah, definitely bear baiting. They come in here, stick his head in sideways, broad shot from tree stand right there. There's a tree stand over there. And we got a chain hanging from the tree here, which is kind of interesting. Remember the movie uh, Jurassic Park where the goat was chained up? <laughs> kind of reminds me of the same situation. I don't know if this is the code. Right there, nice 20-yard shot. <laughs> 